journalist who's written to me. Do you think I should bring my family to the UK? There are 29 of us, not including goats. I've heard we may not be welcome. Don't you even have some political parties dedicated to keeping us out? You must come. I don't follow politics much. Have you seen how politicians dress? But I had a word with my best friend Dieter, who knows a number of senior politicians... On a strictly commercial basis, she says, and you don't have to worry about BNP. I did 10 minutes in-depth research while I was arranging my coffee pods earlier, and it turns out that the BNP is actually the Banque Nationale de Paris. Seems many of their employees are fond of short haircuts and tattoos, and lots of them have pit bull terriers. But I don't think they'll give you any trouble. Unless you're daft enough to take out payment protection insurance, of course. And you, Kip. Well... Obviously, their policy is to advise people to have a little snooze. Apparently, you, Kip, don't like foreigners very much, but they'll probably be having a little doze when you arrive and won't even notice. As for the rest of us, we're so proud of our country. We want to share it and show it off, even the north of England, I think. Though I'm not sure, as I've never been. But I think there's loads of room up there. And when I went to Norwich to collect my Reckitt and Coleman Cuts the Mustard Award for Best English International Celebrity Life Coach to the Stars Eastern Division, I saw whole swathes of land as far as the eye could see without a house in sight. Overpopulated? I don't think so. And then there's Wales. Almost nobody lives there, apart from Welsh people, of course, but they don't take up much room. They tend to pack themselves away into chapels and coal mines. And they love foreigners, as long as they're not English. Same with the Scots, except they tend to pack themselves away into pubs and chip shops. So you see, there's plenty of room for all of you. And whatever you do, don't leave the goats behind. Are they those gorgeous, fluffy Angora goats with the pointy horns? Oh, where was I?